we commission people in different ways. Um, you know, sometimes there are writers who we wish we really want to write plays for us, like Zinni. Then there are other people um, who come to us with an idea that is so seductive and is so brilliant and they're also a great writer that we say actually we would really like you to write that play. Um, and then we're always on the lookout for new playwrights, less experienced writers who we can support in the development of their kind of art if you like um, in order to be able to give them a commission so it works in different ways. This play is, is um, much bigger than I've written before. It has 26 characters and we're, we're performing it with 12 actors and, and um, two children. Um, so until before the National Theatre of Scotland, that, would, that size of play would be impossible to write in Scotland. But it's actually a hugely important part of our role to be encouraging new playwrights and to be commissioning existing and experienced playwrights to take risks and to kind of keep fulfilling or exceeding their potential. Um, so it's absolutely at the heart of what we do. This is Spain! We pull together! Don't call this Spain! This isn't a Spain I recognise! Get the goats! Sir. See what shape it's I in! I think we should leave on the goats! You brought us here! It's been noted! But the other thing which has been um, a, a kind of joy to discover is um, how um, brilliantly supported the development process has been. I mean, that's mainly been down to Vicky, but also Francis, who have just sort of nurtured the play from the very, very first kind of idea. France is the literary manager and the literary manager is an incredibly important role because their focus is solely on the playwright, on the writer. So it's about um, the literary manager reads all the plays that get sent to us, passes the ones that they think are interesting onto myself and John to read, um, looks after the writers that are under commission and keeps those conversations going. I mean I think risk is exactly is a really kind of crucial word and I think that's what uh, I was really allowed to feel I could take with this play. I mean I remember I mean, it, now it, it's realised properly and we've kind of got it working, but the first draft, um, because it is so weird in a way, the play, the world of the play is so kind of um, peculiar and unto its own, um, the first draft felt slightly like a sort of big bonkers thing, really. And I remember feeling so kind of oh, worried about it that, that I kind of hardly dared send it and, you know, and sort of sent a text to Francis sort of saying, you know, I'm going to send you this thing, I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> and just the sort of enthusiasm, enthusiasm with which she sort of greeted it and said, no, you've got to keep writing, there's something really strong in here. And, you know, and that, for a writer, is brilliant because those kind of crucial early moments, it's so easy when, it, when the writing isn't quite formed yet just to say, oh, what is it? Oh, I don't know, it's not really working. You expect too much. Go on, then. But I think that's a really sensitive moment because it's really easy to kind of kill something dead at that moment. It's really important to, that that process is actually only about asking questions. It's not about saying, I think it's this or I know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's about kind of continuing to draw that out. And then the really important stages are then when you bring a group of actors to that. And it's really important about who you choose because they could also kill something dead by asking severe questions or frustrated questions. Or, so you have to choose the right kind of people who you believe are going to be able to ask questions which are going to be useful to the playwright, not damning or hurtful or, you know, create kind of insecurities. No, no, that's right, that's yeah, right. and I think often that first reading and those first questions from the actors are incredibly useful, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're famous, I told you. Everyone knows about the woman who carries the children on her back and won't stop a search until she's found the girl's father. But don't worry, you're admired. They think you're a little crazy, but basically they're on your side. And I think that's a very exciting thing, that actually when you can get to that point where there is enough trust that the interrogation isn't seen as something which is uh, kind of damning of the piece or if that's the thing, the trust is actually because you want it to be the best that it could possibly be. And I've really seen in the relationship that Zinni and I have had, she's trusted me more and more in that, which means that I've been more confident to ask questions and never felt that I should stop asking those questions in order to make her have an easier life. But Zinni's been really clear to me that she wants those questions in order for the play to be the best it can be. And my only downfall would be if I stopped asking them. You and know. it's sort of interesting, after the first previews, you know, we had a bit of a script meeting actually yeah. on the phone and we yeah. made some, we changed some lines, we cut little bits here and, you know, so I sort of think that that, that process, we sort of feel like we're just, you know, almost there now, but it's just little bits, you, you want it to be as near to perfect as possible. I want my house. You can use the field, the well, the food, but not the house. You're pretty tough. You told me you were fighting for Spain. I don't want to wake up French. All right. <laughs>